So last week on June 14th was my brother's birthday. You don't know who my brother is? Right here. Uh, so I didn't know what kind of cake I should make for him. And then I was thinking he likes a lot of cereal. So why not make him a cereal cake? It was pretty bomb cake. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that cake. So let's go. So here are your ingredients to make your cereal cake and the measurements will be listed down below. So first you're going to take 4 eggs and put it into a large mixing bowl and mix it up. After that you're going to pour in 1 cup of sugar and mix that up as well. Also put in 1 teaspoon of vanilla as well as 2 and 1 fourth cups of all-purpose flour. And then you're going to put in 2 and a fourth teaspoons of baking powder and mix that up. And then we're going to go over to the stove. So in the saucepan you're going to boil up 1 and a fourth cups of milk and 10 tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to mix it up until all the butter has melted and then you're going to go back to your mixing bowl. So you're going to pour in your milk mixture into your batter and then you're going to mix it up until everything's incorporated. After that you're going to put in your cereal. So I'm using Fruity Pebbles since it's easier to bake with. So I'm using 3 cups of Fruity Pebbles and then you're going to mix it up. Remember to grease your cake pans, and I'm using 9 inch cake pans. After that, you're going to put it into the oven for 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. After that, you're going to move on to the frosting. You're going to take your raspberries and then you're going to squish them so all the juice will come out. So in a large mixing bowl, you're going to cream together two cups of unsalted butter, which is about four sticks of butter. And also a little less than two cups of powdered sugar. After that, you're going to pour in your raspberry juice in and then you're going to mix it up until it's well incorporated and really pink. And then just get a spatula and scrape down all the sides so that everything is well incorporated. Since everything has cooled down, the cakes and the frosting, it's time to decorate. So you're going to take your buttercream frosting and put it on the first layer and put the next one on top. And then you're going to ice that whole thing. Mine seems kind of messy, but it's okay. Now you're going to take your favorite cereals and decorate the side. So for the cereals for decorating, I'm using Captain Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And it looks pretty good. Uh, there it is. So that's the cereal cake with raspberry buttercream frosting. So that's it for this week's episode. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more foodie videos. Uh, remember to subscribe right here and then also if you want to check out the last cooking episode you could watch it right here and then the last food quest video you can check it right here. Okay that's it. Later.